my white coat. We're on. We're on. We're on. Good morning, everyone. The Delaware County Commission meeting from February 6, 2020 is now in session. Would you stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, good morning, everyone. I'm Gary Merrill, Vice President of the Board this year. Uh, Commissioner Benton is out of town today. To my left is my fellow Commissioner, Barb Lewis, our clerk today, Sarah DeNova, and our Administrator, Mike Fromer. Let's begin. Resolution number 20-129, in the matter of approving the electronic record of proceedings from regular meeting held February 3rd, 2020. So moved. Second. Vote. Vote on motion 20-129. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. We have no public comment this morning. Resolution number 20-130, in the matter of approving purchase orders, then and now certificates and payments of warrants in batch number CMAPR0205 and memo transfers in batch numbers MTAPR0205. So moved. Second. Vote. Vote on motion 20-130. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Resolution number 20-131, in the matter, matter of approving travel expense requests. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 20-131. Mr. Merrill? Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 20-132. In the matter of authorizing the use of procurement card for the coroner's office. So move. Second. Any discussion? Are you okay? Do you want to say something? Podium. <laughs> yeah, for, for travel expenses. Yeah, usually that. What's that? Introduce yourself. Oh, sorry. I'm Charlie. I'm Charlie Carlson. I'm with the coroner's office. Um, I yeah, we'd like to have a procurement card so we can uh, uh, for travel expenses and whatnot. So. Okay. okay. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion two zero dash one three two. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. Resolution. <laughs> Resolution Thank number two zero dash one three three. In the matter of approving the sanitary sewer improvement plans for Woodcrest Crossing Section One Retreat at Woodcrest. So moved. Second. Discussion. Morning, Commissioners. Tiffany Mag, Director of Environmental Services. Uh, this is a condo development with 60 units. It's located off of the New Sites Road extension, um, just south of Clarkshaw Road, and it's met all of our requirements. Okay. Any discussion? Questions? Vote. Vote on motion 20-133. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Resolution number 20-134. In the matter of accepting sewer improvements for Hawks Nest at Highland Lakes. So moved. Second. Discussion. So this is also a condo development. There's 30 units um, in this section, and it's located near Big Walnut Road and Worthington Road, and we request your approval. Questions, comments, discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 20-134. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Thanks. Resolution number 20-135. In the matter of authorizing the use of procurement cards for the Emergency Medical Services Department. So moved. Second. Discussion? Morning, Commissioners. Jeff Fischel, Director of EMS, Delaware County. Uh, there's two people on this resolution. One is Assistant Chief Jen Cochran. It is increasing uh, her daily amount and her overall amount on the card. When we uh, go to set up for travel or trainings, we're finding that the uh, initial expense for it is exceeding her, uh, her daily amount, so we want to um, increase that so that she's able to actually purchase those uh, travel and training arrangements. And uh, Linda, who's uh, now the uh, fiscal coordinator, uh, she needs a procurement card like uh, Sheila Perrin had in order to purchase stuff for uh, the county EMS service. Okay. Comments? Vote. Vote on motion 20-135. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Resolution number 20-136 in the matter of approving the transfer of funds. So moved. Second. Discussion? <clears throat> Brad Lutz, Director of Business Operations and Financial Management. Karen first is on the agenda. I hope for everyone's sake, especially Karen's, no one confuses us. <laughs> I just, I feel really bad. Um, so we're approving a transfer today for the casino revenue. It was received into the general fund. Um, it was up 4% <clears throat> from last year. For the viewing audience, the casino revenue is revenue derived from the four casinos in the state of Ohio. It does not include the racinos, places like, excuse me, Scioto Downs. So um, 
obviously in the same period compared to last year, some of 4% more gambling is happening at the casinos. Okay. Questions or comments? Vote. Vote on motion 20-136. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 20-137. In the matter of approving amending resolution number 19-1278. So moved. Second. Discussion. So I'm going to read exactly what's here, and if anything, this actually sounds like a JFS issue when you read it out loud, but you'll, you'll see what I mean. The auditor's office <clears throat> has requested we amend the original budget resolution. It includes child keys, but needed to include the parent keys. This corrects the oversight. The parent key is the legal level of control for these funds, as well it should be. And the child key is for the departments to track internal spending. Any questions or comments? Vote on motion 20-137. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. That brings us to our administrative reports. Good morning, commissioners. Um, today is uh, February 6th, and it's a very special day. Um, it is also a, a d the day of uh, somebody in this room's birthday. Um, I'm not going to divulge who it is, but I'm going to give a bunch of information about the day that he was born. Um, so then you can guess. Um, Harry Truman was president. <laughs> Gas was 27 cents a gallon. Uh, the top movie was I Shot Jesse James. The top song was Careless Hands by Sammy Kay and his orchestra, both which I've never heard of either of the movie or the song <laughs> or the band. Um, also, if you were in Jamaica today, you'd be celebrating Bob Marley Day in addition to this person's birthday. Um, and last but not least, Oklahoma had an undefeated season but was outvoted uh, by Notre Dame in the poll and was second. Ohio State was a distant sixth. So anyway, hopefully that person has a wonderful birthday. I think everybody will know who that is at this point. Um, but wishing him happy birthday. Uh, happy thank birthday. you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. And under his comments, maybe he can elaborate on his birthday. So. Um, I think you should go. You think I should go first? Yes, you're the birthday boy. <laughs> I, um, well, thank you all very much. Had some balloons in my office this morning. Very appreciative and uh, very nice of everyone. It's also one of the top baseball players of all time, Babe Ruth. Oh. And, um, and Marley I did know about, um, um, and also Tom Brokaw, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I appreciate it very much. Um, it's, I, can't, I wish I could say it's fun getting older, but I can't say that. <laughs> uh, again, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and go since I'm up here now. Sure, yes. Um, I had the orientation for Corsa yesterday. Uh, and it went really well. It was about oh, four yeah. hours, and I, I, I won't say I learned everything I need to learn, but it was the, gave me the basics, and I'm looking forward to serving on that board. And uh, the chamber dinners tonight, the annual dinner, I understand Mike's going to go and uh, do my birthday. I may have to make change plans because my family had made some plans uh -huh. that I didn't predict. Yeah. So, um, but, with, but it is the annual din dinner. It's always a great event. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Um, I would just like to thank uh, Jen in particular, Jane, Eric, for uh, uh, getting our resolution and our letter to uh, representatives Carfania and Jordan out so very quickly. And uh, that was sent out Monday and right after we voted on it. So thank you. Appre appreciate it. They, they wanted it <clears throat> right away. This is, this is when we uh, approved matching funds from the bed tax, 600,000 of matching funds from the bed tax, and that will be matched with uh, $2 million uh, if all goes well uh, when the capital budget is passed. So thank you. Um, had an emergency management uh, executive meeting the other day. Uh, they are going to be very techno technologically savvy. Um, we did approve some technological updates, which, which are really needed. Uh, they had gone to different uh, EMA uh, uh, organizations, Franklin County, 
um, and there were, I, I forget, there were two others, uh, Fairfield County and one other uh, EMA office that they visited. So they, they had a lot of, uh, they, could, they could see uh, where other uh, counties were using some more advanced technology. And then um, um, uh, Colby, uh, from EMA really put together the proposal and did a lot of work on it. So thanks, thanks to him, we're going to be moving ahead with some new technology that will enable us to uh, uh, respond to uh, emergencies even more quickly, uh, weather emergencies, uh, uh, hazardous spills, whatever. So uh, it's, it's a really good move, though. And that's it. I do have one other thing based, sure. based on your comments about the fair. Uh, just FYI, they are planning on coming to the session in the next couple, three weeks. I know Jennifer's working on that date. I'm not sure it's been determined yet. I've not heard back. I gave him uh, four But they're coming to session to kind of give us an update on the, the fair and the bed oh, tax, good. et cetera. Oh, great. So good. Date to be determined fairly quickly is my understanding. So. Good. Okay. And with that, I understand we do have need for executive session. We do. Resolution number 20-138 in the matter of adjourning into executive session for consideration <clears throat> or to consider the purchase of property for public purposes. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 20-138. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. We're now in executive session. We break into that cookie cake. Resolution number 20-139 in the matter of adjourning out of the executive session. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 20-139. Mr. Merrill. Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. And uh, we're out of, out of executive session. I believe uh, Eric had something you wanted to share with us. The uh, Eric Hostetler, uh, staff attorney. So the board received notice from the Ohio Department of Agriculture that they are going to be doing some uh, gypsy moth suppression treatments in Delaware County. And they provided that notice uh, not uh, to get approval from the board for uh, the suppression itself. That is a voluntary program. The property owners who want that treatment um, fill out an application and they agree to split the costs with the Department of Agriculture. Uh, what is needed from the board is for them to do aerial treatment, they need to file a congested flight plan with the FAA. And the FAA regulations, the Code of Federal Regulations, requires the local political subdivision to approve that congested flight area plan. And so they need local approval for use of the airspace, not for the yeah, The way I area. read that, which I read it incorrectly apparently, was that uh, they were it gave the appearance that they were trying to put the burden on us if there was complaints locally right. on that spring. That's not the case. And I think that their form letter could lead somebody to that conclusion. That's a logical conclusion, the, the way that they wrote it. And so um, I'll draft an alternative uh, that is strictly what they need in terms of uh, the federal regulations for aviation. And uh, I don't think that you would have any issue with that. Um, it is also important to, to remember that it is a voluntary program. Their yes. rules and regulations actually spell out that if somebody is within the area that objects, they will redraw the lines to avoid That's them. That's right. So they will yeah. not actually treat those areas. I'm, I'm very familiar with this program because uh, we had a gypsy moth infestation in mm -hmm. my neighborhood. And they literally, uh, they send the, the residents uh, all this information, and then, uh, as a matter of fact, I had to go door to door getting people's permission to, to, and and actually have them sign something so they could spray on people's property. So that, was, so, that would have been aerial, though. Would it? That would have been. It was aerial, was it aerial? right? But this is a different thing. Yeah. This is, you know, FAA. You, uh, you were okay. a you were a gypsy moth block coordinator? That's yeah. right. I was. I was. I, I, I've learned all about this I, now, so I know all about the program. I, I am very impressed that you know about this yeah. because uh, I, this well, we is... We get these notices and you, you folks ask me questions. I have to know what I'm talking about, otherwise... Well, you really, boy, you really do. This is this is So that form letter probably impressive. can be framed a little differently. Yeah, I don't think that that's a mandatory form. That's just, I think they're trying to make it easier and it does make it sound like the commissioners are approving the treatment. You don't have any say in whether that treatment is approved or right. not. 
right, know. right. It's, That's all done at the at the state and level. And you're right. They the redraw lines. they redraw the lines, and uh, so because they sprayed uh, in our area, they were able to stop the gypsy moth infestation, which which really kills a lot of the oaks and. Other yeah, I trees. looked at the uh, the ODA has. Uh, has a lot of information about this, and there's 51 of the 88 counties are considered to be infested, and it kind of starts up in the northwest corner and kind of wraps around um, it's, the, yeah, the state. It does and they've got different damage. treatment protocols, whether you're in an infested area, um, uh, uh, at risk area, or uh, uh, another area outside the state where they. So do you just see our directive to prepare a letter, or do you need a resolution ultimately from us? I will. Uh, it will require. Uh, resolution to actually approve that okay. um, and so I will I'll redraft the letter and I'll draft a resolution and present it to you and then if if you find it acceptable you can take action okay I don't recall the time frame that they needed that I don't think they, oh, they yeah there was a date in there I think the letter call the date but I think there was okay, a date. by the end of February it sounds right I'll, yeah. I'll confirm that and I'll make sure that we, we okay. meet whatever deadline okay because oh. as, since this is a voluntary program I would hate for something on our end to be a technical holdup to the treatment. I think they said the treatment was going to be done in June. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody was opposed to it. It's just a matter of whether it was how it was stated. Yeah. Great. Thank you for your research. Thank you. Uh, if there's any other business? No other business. If there's no other business to bring before us, we are adjourned. <laughs>